The reason that I even know of Inovix is because I picked a fight with um, Mark Cahotes, short seller Mark Cahotes. I'd researched Silvergate Bank and decided what he had done was unfair, and I thought he needed to know. What I didn't know was you can't really fight Mark online anyway, on Twitter. Um, oh, I mean X, my bad, Elon. Mark will block you if you so much as send an unflattering emoji his way. But his legions of followers and friends will bash you mercilessly and endlessly. <laughs> and why not? They all made a fortune on Silvergate and Signature, and make no mistake, he made that happen. Credit where credit is due. He did. And if you bought puts in Silvergate at $50 and wrote it down to a buck, that's about uh, 5000 per contract profit. 20 contracts, 100 Gs. Of course they're loyal and even fawningly adoring. Don't want to miss the next one. So when Cahotes went long and Novix after Silvergate, everyone jumped in with both feet. That's why the volume and the social media sentiment is through the roof. But it's not fair again. What about Amprius? I'm going to assume that since Mark and T.J. Rogers, chairman of Anovix, both live in the Bay Area and both are the faces of Anovix for a fair amount of people, that they know each other, and it's not a coincidence um, what the long play that he picked was. But because he picked it, it's outperforming Amprius by a market cap of 6 to 1. Amprius is the only other public company manufacturing silicon anode uh, lithium ion batteries. There are others, Sila. Group 14, Enervate, but they aren't public. Amprius has a 500 milliamp hour per gram battery. And Ovix weighs in at about 350 or 30% less. Amprius shipped 1.6 million of their batteries last quarter, and Ovix 42,000. But Enovix as a company is worth six times more. Why? Because TJ Rogers, who won't let short sellers talk to the media without threatening memos and doxing them, a pit bull, Tenacious. As tenacious as Mark. So it's a shame that Amprius isn't their company in play because then they wouldn't have to fend off so much deserved criticism about the fundamentals um, of Novix, which I'm not going to get into because um, that's not what I. That's not. That's not what I want. That's not what this is. Amprius won best in show at the International Battery Seminar in April. And Novix uh, bought an automated factory line that sits idle. Uh, because the instructions were in Chinese for assembly. I'm not making that up. Um, one of the advantages of having a popular high volume stock though is liquidity. Liquidity means people know there will always be buyers if they want to sell. And liquidity is critical if you want to get a decent price to market for a secondary. And so TJ did, most recently a blank check for a billion dollars in a shelf offering. What are the plans for that money? Operational one can only surmise. With 100 million out the door for Fab 2 um, to YBS and 58 million a year in R&D and a negative cash flow of 100 mil plus, that's an issue that's going to keep coming up. <laughs> um, and while pouring all that money into Malaysia and auto lines, there's Amprius right down the road in Fremont. They're churning out 1.6 million in batteries last quarter, delivered, um, and over 100% revenue increase over the same quarter in 2022. Surely that's worth more than 10 Anovixes. Revenue-wise, it is. But their market cap is under half a billion, Amprius, the ugly but productive stepchild. And Novix is around three billion. And then there's that billion-dollar shelf offering. I had started this research to bag on Mark Cajotes and ruffle his minions. <laughs> but what would I say? Short Anovix? That would be dumb. T.J. Rogers and Mark Cajotes and friends have proven that they matter more than fundamentals. So what's my argument? So, no, uh, buy Amprius was my conclusion after I decided shorting a Novix was a bad idea. But by the same logic, so is going long Amprius. If, if shorting a Novix is bad because TJ Rogers, Mark Cajotes, et al., then uh, so is going long Amprius because they don't have that. And their competitor does. So that it doesn't matter. You know, it, it's, it, it's the same dangerous game, is what I'm saying. So uh, that can't be my conclusion here either. Um, uh, and then it hit me. Don't attack anyone and don't advise anyone anything. Be, you know, don't advise anyone to go long or short, e either, either one of them. The, my conclusion on this research is going to be different. It's not going to be a conclusion of buy this or don't buy this or short this or don't short that. Um, I want to be a bringer of peace.
I want to join things together instead of ripping them asunder. What is the best thing for Amprius and all concerned and Anovix? Use the shelf registration that Anovix, that billion dollars to buy Amprius. The market cap's under a half billion. I'm sure something can be worked out. Now, I'm, I'm not so self-deluded to think that TJ and Raj and Mark haven't thought of that already. And I don't know what impediments there are to accomplishing it, you know, but still that that's not, you know, I don't know if, if I, if I recommend buy this stock or short that stock, I also don't know what impediments might be out. I don't know what I don't know. You see what I'm saying? Um, so it's, a, it's the same issue. So I'm still, I'm coming up with a conclusion with a caveat as all conclusions should have, but with a, someone doing analysis on a, on a company stock is that, of course, you know, there's going to be things unknown unknowns, you know, and we can't speak to those, um, by definition. So, um, but I, so I'm left with a sense after all this research and contemplation on what's going on here that the conclusion to arrive at is, uh, not to short or buy anything, but rather to suggest that the, team of TJ and Mark who can make any stock successful bring in the most successful silicon anode lithium ion battery manufacturer and in doing so silence many critics on the tech of Anovix and maybe just maybe there will be not just a a power tag team of uh, of, of of stock hype but a company behind it that is truly the best in that industry. And so it'll be firing on all cylinders and the sky's the limit, you know, and maybe I'll just, maybe I'll go long, not advice to anyone, <laughs> make your own trading decisions. I may just go long both companies just in case the existing synergies do result in a union. And that's the long and the short of it.